Hey y'all, welcome back to Retail Remedy. My name is Giselle and I am a reseller. I resell on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today we have another Ben's haul. So this month is gonna be very Ben's heavy because um, that's just what I'm choosing to do this month, like mostly. I think that I'm going to go ahead and go this week to, I'm gonna go to one of my other little locations I like to source at here in Texas, and that being the Habitat, and uh, see if they have anything for me. Uh, I rarely go, you know, I, I kind of pick a couple of days out of the month most of the time, but this month, like I said, it's gonna be mostly bins because I really have been away from the bins for a, lot, a, a little while. So I didn't tell y'all this, but I had to get my computer repaired and these things. So I actually had to call a halt on everything for about 10 days out of last month. So I know I wasn't on YouTube at that time, but it kind of caused like kind of a stir. But the good thing about it is that during that time, I uh, sat down and thought about my schedule and how I could work in like doing my videos. And so far, so good, as y'all can see. Okay, like we this is our, what, our third video in the row that is actually, you know what I'm saying, like consistent, you know, little steps, baby steps, you know, you got to count the little victories. So um, like I said, I'm so excited, or maybe I didn't say this in my other videos or acknowledge it at all. Yes, I'm back, and yes, I'm excited to be back, and I am excited to just kind of, you know, start this journey again. Um, that's what it feels like all the time, but anywho, thank y'all for clicking on the video. We're going to get right into the haul because uh, it's quite a bit of stuff. I, I did, um, excuse me while I close these windows because they are distracting me. I did about 50 pounds, but one of the major things that I bought, I didn't even bring in because I need to take it to be dry cleaned. And it's actually a, well, technically it's a pillow topper for a bed. I'm going to put some extra information on it, maybe, you know, in post, but because I don't have it inside with me, but it kind of took my cart into the 50s. Uh, so Actually, I guess we'll be going through about maybe 40 pounds of it, maybe 45. So it's still a pretty good bit of things here. But uh, basically, it's a uh, one that's made out of like goose feathers. So it's kind of like one of the fancy ones and stuff like that. Might cost quite a bit to get it dry clean. So it might take a minute or whatever. I haven't decided if I want to sell it or if I want to keep it because I just think it's going to be super comfortable. So... I'll give y'all an update on that whenever I figure that out. But let's go ahead and get started with shoes and accessories, which I only have a few of this time, and I've organized it. Well, it's not super organized. I kind of like the mixing up, you know, of different types of clothing. But um, as far as clothes versus shoes and accessories, I do not have any hard goods this time. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so starting off. All right, let's just start off with one of the little bags that I got. So this little bag is a calf hair bag and this is actually by Myra so I I found Myra in a uh I don't know I didn't show y'all let me show y'all so this is the Myra bag and they actually are pretty popular but I can't say they're the fastest mover I found it I found it in a consignment shop and I wanted to buy them but they were too expensive thank goodness though because when I did finally buy them when I finally bought one from the bins it only sold for like I want to say like $30 and at the consignment store they were like 40 but I know that these bags are actually super expensive so they just don't have like a large resale value but they are super cute so anyways this one's a little wristlet and I love that so I want to I went ahead and grabbed it I think I would still grab these from the bins no matter what next bag is kind of exciting um, I don't know what it'll do but I'm used to this brand and this is a Wilson's leather bag and I've sold quite a few Wilson's leather jackets and stuff so uh to me that's a pretty like sturdy brand or that's what I like to call it like it's you know I think it'll sell you know I'm not really sure on the comps I didn't do too much searching but it actually is um really clean and nice and kind of you know uh I don't know like it's a classic I guess you know because it's not like it's a tote but it kind of has a hobo kind of look to it so I think that it's not like too old school looking or anything like that you know so Anyways, I think it's promising, super clean. I'm glad I, I get the chance to kind of see what it's gonna do. Our next item is a new brand to me. And it's actually a pair of boots. And it is by, if I could just look at it, Arturo 
Chiang. So there's the label on the bottom there. I did do some comp searching. Apparently these actually sell for a good amount above 50, uh, depending on the style. This one was one of them. So I'm super excited. Plus, as you can see, there's literally probably no wear on it. And actually, I would call that new without tags, to be completely honest. Like they don't even look like they've been walked on. So I'm excited to see uh, exactly what that do. But somehow they still have a little bit appealing and um at the top here this is real leather but i believe that little inside is faux leather so um yeah but that might be just from storing and stuff like that i have no idea either way it's not too too bad and it's only at that little top part and as you can see the rest of it is cloth so yeah i think that these will do pretty good they, these are kind of a classic looking boot as well so we have a brand that i haven't sold in a long time but every time i sell it i i uh i do pretty good and that is sam edelman these are super cute little kind of espadrille-y kind of look but i love the beading in the front definitely in really really good condition so i'm uh, really excited that you know people kind of left this behind i guess some people have been jaded by sam edelman because some of them do better than others now these shoes i've been looking for this brand for a while in adult adult shoes most of the time when i go to the bins if you don't know already these are keen shoes um the adult ones do pretty good i, I seen the comps for 30 dollars at the, for these um basically every time i go to the bins i find the adult ones but i might only find one or i might find them when they're super super worn out uh these are in pretty good condition so yeah i'm excited to finally get to list some this adorable little bag is actually by fossil now fossil has become one of my i'm not gonna say it's like a favorite bed, bread and butter but it's a uh steady bread and butter that i normally have and that is like the small um what i want to call french girl aesthetic you know if you're into the whole aesthetics and these types of things um bags that are like vintage the leather bags these tend to do pretty good for me um between 20 and 30 dollars <laughs> like i always tell y'all it's kind of a far cry to ask for 30 dollars for a fossil bag but 27 28 you know it kind of you know and this one is actually kind of different than the ones i've had with the two openings here at the top and it's kind of like a navy blue and it just kind of has a really nice classic look not too much wear on it it does have a couple of little you know spots on the corners but that's to be expected and as i always say leather can always be dyed and stuff like that so yeah all right so that's the last like step in things i bought i did buy some lotion or whatever because it was full you know um bath and body works you know good one you know why not i'm gonna try it out and, make, and see if i can even take it on my skin because a lot of times the fragrance and stuff it kind of irritates me i don't know but anyways let's move on to clothes and i'm gonna start with the couple of little swimsuits that i got so all right so i did not comp search these these are totally like let me tell y'all how my $10 shop basically gets its inventory. So there's one way where I, I bring stuff to the consignment. The very best things that they decline at the consignment a lot of times end up on the $10 shop. I kind of filter through it. Whatever I don't feel like listing or whatever, it just doesn't, it never hits any stores. Uh, rather, I just redonate it. But the very best things, they end up on the $10 shop. Or if I bought it for the main shop, but then I comp search it, and the comps are like $20, a lot of times they will end up on the, the $10 shop. I don't think I even explained that to y'all as I came back. Y'all go over there to the $10 shop. I know I'm always talking about it, but I do have, I put stuff up there on a regular basis. So sometimes things just go really quickly. So um, just in case you don't wanna miss out, definitely go over there and hit follow because it's kind of sporadic when I put the things out on the $10 shop. So anyways, back into the haul and starting off with our bathing suits this cute little bathing suit i'm trying to see if i have it upside down i think i do yeah upside down it's kind of all right so this cute little bathing suit has like a it looks like a tuxedo i guess you know what it reminds me of ninja turtles and it's kind of going to go with the theme once i show you all the other one if y'all don't see it peeking out over here already but um that's what i think of when i look at this it has a cute little bow tie in the middle uh, and it has like two little buttons. Let's see if I can show y'all. Two little white buttons right there. And it's kind of like a themed little bathing suit. I don't know. 
I just thought it was cute. It's by a company called, this company is called Black Butler by Funimation. Let me show y'all that because I feel like I've seen that before, but I just don't remember where, okay? So anyways, that's that one. And the other one is um, a Batman themed one. So now y'all see why I called it um, maybe Ninja Turtles. I don't know why. I think it's just the color that made me think of Ninja Turtles because this one is actually by the Batman brand. So yeah. So anyways, I just thought they were cute. Again, the reason why I started off talking about the $10 shop is because they may end up in the $10 shop. And if you're interested in these things, some of the stuff that I'm kind of like, ah, about you, I'm telling you, they may end up right over there and you don't want to miss out when they are that cheap. You know what I'm saying? $10 full shipping, you know, 17 bucks. Why not? You know? All right. So moving on. So I told y'all in another video that I started picking up Democracy. Um, I actually found these uh, really nice leather or faux leather pants. I know it's way too hot, y'all. I'm in Texas and it is hot. If you haven't seen the news, baby, just go check it out. Texas is hot, okay? So I know these are probably not going to fly off the shelf <laughs> in the middle of summer. But in the wintertime and stuff like that, you know, the girlies, they be looking for their little going out pants and, you know, stuff to wear, you know, on, on a, a girl's night or whatever. And um, this is actually a good size. It's a extra large and uh, democracy jeans can do pretty well. So I'm guessing this might be a good one, but we'll see. It'd be my first time doing like a faux leather pants by democracy. The next item is actually a vintage find. Uh, which I think it might be YC, Y2K, but I rarely pick up this brand because y'all, it's some brands where I feel like somebody will be like scrolling through Poshmark and they'll say, oh, that's a cute shirt. But then as soon as they look at the brand, they're like, oh, never mind. You know, there are certain brands where I'm like, is that what people do? And that is the limited, one of them, one of them is the limited, okay? I don't pick it up too much because um, sometimes I have a hard time moving it, even the like, what I think is really cute Y2K. But this is a really cute little top. Definitely has the Y2K kind of vibe with it. Like something about the shape of it gives me Y2K. But also it is Angora. So that means it is rabbit fur and stuff. So once the winter time comes around, I think this will be a super cute little addition to somebody's wardrobe. And yeah, it's a really nice brown. And I thought I'd just go ahead and try it out anyway, you know. All right. So the next item is actually something else I bought for the $10 shop. I have to stop this, y'all. It's an addiction. I need to stop buying stuff, particularly for the $10 shop and let it go through all the channels that it would normally go to to get to the $10 shop. But I told y'all last time I wanted to do like some some de decorative things in the $10 shop. And one of the things I really, really love is tapestries. So this one is a tapestry of the moon and the stars. So that's what this is. Just a cute little tapestry that will um, more than likely be on the $10 shop. This next item is a new brand to me and it is called Pretty Persuasions, okay? I really liked this when I first looked at it, but something about it, like, I had a hard time actually coming to a decision, but as I looked at it, I was like, you know what, this is pretty cute. And I actually did some research at the bins. And I like the comps of the other sweaters. I didn't see this particular one, but by this brand, um, I saw, you know, some nice bread and buttery, you know, which is what I expected uh, for this. But actually, it kind of surprised me with some of the other comps. I was like, oh, this brand actually has some pretty, you know, good stuff. Another one is Elevenses. So this one I like, I, well, this brand I like to pick up all the time because it's done pretty well for me. And it is some really cute dress pants. And they are in a bright orange, which I love. And yeah, just kind of like a nice little classic. The next item I have, I picked up quite a few Zara things this time, y'all. Even though I try and try to be finicky. But I think all of them are like the new label Zara. Look at this dress, y'all. It is super cute, super beachy, flirty, and fun. I love the little ruffles it has at the top, plus like the little buttons down the middle. And it is just super simple and nice. Yeah, so I just, I didn't want to put it down, y'all. The next brand is actually what I believe is a anthropology brand from what I researched um, at the at the bands. And it is called Bailey 44. And this is a super cute little sheer lace top. Yeah, I just, you know, I do pretty well with these types of tops. So yeah, why not? And it it's actually good for the season or, you know, even the fall time. The next item is vintage. And y'all, 
I'm always picking up vintage, but sometimes I regret it because it needs a little stitch or something. And this one is one of those items, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try because the comps were pretty good. This is a Eileen West by Queen Anne's Lace. So Queen Anne's Lace is actually a bolo vintage brand, I believe, because I've seen some pretty good priced nightgowns by uh, Queen Anne's Lace. But this one is kind of like an offshoot brand, I guess, Eileen West or or something like that, you know, and, the, and maybe, um, you know, just another brand within the brand, if that makes sense. But either way, it has this really nice cottage core vibe, these really pretty flowers, little purple flowers. And as I said, it does need a stitch on one of the shoulders. It's not too big of a stitch, but y'all know if y'all are resellers, how, just doing something like that can take you know time away from other things so you end up piling this stuff up but i'm going to possibly do it today we'll see we're i'm technically on my day off but we will see yes i film on my days off this is technically fun for me so anywho this next item is actually by wild fable which is target which i almost never do but look at how beautiful it is now this one i'm going to do some comp searching because target can actually surprise you and some of the comps and stuff like that that i've seen out there but if it is like kind of like one of the lower ones this might end up on a ten dollar shop but y'all already know why i like this it is victorian y'all i love anything that reminds me of the victorian era and yes it kind of has this tablecloth look but it's something about that texture that could be really really cute on somebody and this is a size 16 which is also a really good size my next item is actually by mango and it is a really nice maxi dress and i do okay with mango i have like one mango piece that has been sitting for a while but like as i've gotten really like a little bit more selective about my pieces mango can do pretty good so i'm excited about seeing what this will do it is a size small so not too bad definitely has a little tear at the bottom and it's super cute definitely good for the season this next thing is something that okay so in my shop when it comes down to the winter stuff I really don't stop at like sweaters and stuff like that. I will definitely get like snowboarding and ski stuff and that's what this is. I think I may have shown y'all that before because I have like one brand that I normally get which is Burton. But this one is a new brand to me. And this one is Boulder, Boulder Gear, okay? And I actually had did some comp searching on a L.L. Bean, I believe. Uh, it's like a ski jumpsuit thing like this. This is their little... Uh, I guess their little brand or whatever, little snowflake, which is kind of super cute. And it does have boulder gear right there, which is um, embroidered. But anyways, this one's in great condition. Um, the other one that I saw wasn't in the greatest condition, so I just left it. But these can do from like 60 to, you know, they could be over $100. So I saw pretty good comps for this one, so I went ahead and grabbed it. But it'll be my first time ever having like one of these ski jumpsuits. Most of the time, I have the pants and I have the jackets. But during the winter time, they do really well. Next item is kind of a regular item in our shop. And that is some J. Crew Linen Blend Pants. Oh, let me fix the pocket. So, yeah, I buy these often. I have them. I have, uh, I think, a few green pairs now. They kind of give a jean look, but they're really linen. This next item, a lady was so nice at the bins. Like, <laughs> normally at the bins, people be fighting over stuff, but um, I'm kind of like, if, if me and somebody else's hand, like, end up on the item at the same time, I would just be like, okay, like, you can, you can have it, whatever. But she was like, no, you can have it. She insisted. So I went ahead and looked at it, y'all. And it is another Zara piece. And look at how beautiful, y'all. Isn't it so cute? A really nice midi dress. I mean, I, I don't see it going maxi length. The new label Zara and everything. Um, <laughs> I did see her kind of like taking a peek back to look at it, um, you know, but it happens. I've done it before and I was just happy to kind of, you know, get some grace this time and go ahead and uh, be able to pick up the item or whatever because we literally touched it at the same time. It was like no like no way of telling so i'm really grateful for her shout out to her i don't think she watches but you know the next thing i got was a i don't even think this has a brand y'all this was just something that i went ahead and grabbed because it is too cute so let me turn it around this is actually the front if y'all can see it has this really really cute like tie up but this thing is like bedazzled 
and I just kept looking at it like this is so cute and the fabric is actually like ribbed and it's super nice like it feels like something you could get from like Princess Polly or something like that it's like a boat neck and it, and it has like this kind of tuxedo cut in the front and the back is actually kind of cropped so I just I think that'll be super cute for going out this tag actually only says made in China I don't see let me see if there's anything else to tell me. So the tag says, as you, let me see, as you. I never uh, saw that, but I planned on taking good pictures of it and then just lensing it and seeing, you know, what it is. Cause I'm not really sure, but it is super cute. All right, y'all. So this next item, y'all write this down. Cause this is a good brand and it's kind of one of a, a newer brand to me. But the last time I got it, I was super surprised by like, you know, a, a regular shirt selling for like, 35 bucks or something like that that to me is a pretty good you know especially from the bins but this one might do way better and I usually pick it up because as you can already tell it gives the Johnny was vibe but this is actually John Mark so yes y'all but isn't that super cute it is actually velvet and I love like all of the little details it's very like whimsical boho you know very like uh, a mad hatter like somewhere in there kind of to a degree has the victorian vibes y'all know me but also i knew this brand immediately so i went ahead and grabbed it i was being like oh johnny what no john mark <laughs> john mark this next item i am not sure where i'm gonna put it i'm gonna google lens it and see what it does but as y'all i told y'all i'm getting into like the kids clothes and this was just too adorable to skip look at that cute little adorable dress I just don't know if it if nothing at all I do have a, a baby niece right now so I could definitely give it to her if nothing like if it's not worth you know listing it or whatever like some comps for five bucks or something you know I'm just gonna probably go and you know give it to her but I just want to see what it'll do you know it actually looks somewhat vintage not really I guess oh no I'm totally wrong it came out in 2022 <laughs> last year so actually maybe i don't know we'll see what it does uh i don't even know where you find like this stuff at watch i go to like ross and see it or something like that anyways it's super cute i don't know what i'll do with it could be on the ten dollar shop we'll see so the next um item i got because it is new with tags and the tags you know the tag says that it's 39 dollars full price so you know why not a 20 dollars sell from the bins and it's pretty light this cute little crochet cardigan with the two buttons. Oh, actually it has three buttons here. And it actually has like a button on the sleeve to kind of like bring the sleeve up, but not like a three, four sleeve, I don't think, or is it? I think it kind of gives the three, four sleeve illusion, but it's kind of like a long enough sleeve to kind of go most of the way down. But anyways, I love that it's cropped. This is good for the season too. Definitely put over like a little strappy dress or something like that. If you just want to go like into a store or something like that, you know, why not? This next item is a brand I haven't bought in a long time, but I said, why not just try it again? And it, and worst come to worst, it'll go in the $10 shop or to just consignment. I might wait for the winter time or not the winter time, fall time to consign it because this is actually good for fall. This is actually by Moth, which is an anthropology brand. And it's just this really kind of nice uh, textured, sheared dress. It's a midi, just super cute. Size small, has 10% cashmere and 5% angora. So we'll see what it does. This next one is by One State. I told you all about One State in another video. I've never sold clothes by One State, so this will be my first time listing clothing. Um, just a cute little summer dress, you know, why not? And uh, it'll be my first time, you know, like, experience in it which i'm just going to see what it does see if i could add it to my bread and butters this one is an old friend vineyard vines i actually have never sold like a sweater by vineyard vines i don't think or have i i don't think uh, i think i've done button-up shirts so this will be my first time with a sweater but if you ever find like vineyard vines especially new with tags out in the wild they still do pretty good you know i call it mostly just the bread and butter but sometimes they have those items that really you know do great this next item is another new brand to me which is Cess Femme or whatever I'm not really sure Cess Femme but yeah here's the brand and this 
cute little I need to stop saying cute I know it's adorable I guess <laughs> but uh it's southwestern I love that kind of style it's got this Dolman sleeve and I looked it up and I saw some good comps it has potential this brand has potential so with me being selective and choosing the styles I might be able to find some of the good stuff so I'm gonna see what that one does first this next one doesn't even have a brand but I loved the embroidery of it so I said why not somebody will love that definitely kind of like cottage core or like okay so actually if you look at the dress on the right side your right the sleeve on that side is uh very much so smaller so i won't be listing this it was handmade and i thought it would be super cute and it would have been if you know it had been made properly so uh i didn't notice it until afterwards so yeah <laughs> it happens guys now, I did get two free people things. I believe just two this time. This one I'm super excited about. This one, like, I love picking up these types of things from free people, y'all. These have always done pretty well for me, but aren't they so, so, so cute? Like, or so, like, beautiful. I don't know. Y'all, I just say cute a lot. Just, you know, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, I like these types of things. Like, um, I'm glad I was able to find one uh, this time and I think that for the most part, you know Free people can be finicky. So people have been kind of like slowing up on their free people stuff I think I'm always gonna be a free people girl until it like really really gets bad, you know I like to ride it to the wheels fall off Jeff. <laughs> this is our second free people piece and um, This is a super cute kind of like disco style. That's what it reminds me of kind of like disco or something like, you know fun dancing something like that it's a cute little, I guess you'd call that cropped because when you put it on, it definitely will crop itself. Top and it has bell sleeves and it's very bohemian and beautiful. It actually looks like it could be like new because of the tag. Y'all know the t this little thing gets pretty worn out as you wash it. But uh, maybe they just took really good care of it and they took it to the dry cleaning and stuff like that. So yep two whole really good free people so this next item i've never ever sold before but i i'm a sucker for new tags y'all um this is a like a sport swimsuit by h2o turbo polo or whatever i don't know that brand but i did i look it up mm, i don't know i don't think that i did look it up because i don't want to even try to I don't even want to lie y'all i don't think i looked it up but um i buy the speedo swimsuits that are uh new with tags and they do pretty good so like you know like the sporting swimsuits and stuff i just want to see what it'll do if it's something i should be looking for you know new with tags at the worst ten dollar shop the next item is actually another vintage piece but uh if you have been here for a while you know wait is it vintage it just looks vintage maybe i don't know um no, this is definitely vintage. It has to be. Uh, I love picking up vintage nightgowns and whatnot. So if you ever looking for a cute little shimmy or a little nightgown that is vintage, you know, vintage vibes. I definitely have a few out there right now on my shop. This one is by Valerie Stevens. Usually I do pick up um, the Victoria's Secret vintage ones, especially the silk ones. But we shall see because this one has kind of like a classic look. It's definitely super beautiful. Look at that. So I think it'll do pretty good. All right, my next one is a, another swimsuit. And this is by, I, I can't say this, like Cash or Cassic, Cassic, I don't know. Anywho, I, I got it because it looks like it is brand new without tags and it is actually um, a bigger size. So I do like to pick up, you know, like the, more like bigger size bras and stuff like that because as we know us ladies out here bras can get expensive so sometimes i find the really good ones but even like the swimsuits are can be really expensive for you know bigger busted women so i thought this was cute like super cute definitely has like a pinup vibe like it has a vintage vibe you know this will be super cute on someone and yeah i'm not really sure on the comps so i didn't like I said, I picked it up because of the style. So hopefully it does have pretty good comps. All right, this next thing, 
this is my this is when i get into my vintage bag y'all this is the type of stuff i like to pick up <laughs> all right so i've done pretty good with this i think this is a kimono hold on give me a moment well, give me a moment with it oh wow okay this might be renewed by this might be something they had on auction i've never seen this before let me see if i can get that closer let's see renewed by goodwill industries by handicap workers at goodwill industries um i thought that was the actual tag because from what i remember it didn't have a tag on it i'm sorry y'all i'm trying to get it fixed up i think it's a kimono either that or it's a robe but it definitely is real silk definitely is vintage let me show y'all the way this back is looking y'all look at this seam look at that this is absolutely beautiful look at the little people this is authentic this has to be authentic Y'all, this has to be authentic, y'all. I hope y'all could really, really, really see that. I tried to put my face out of the camera so it can kind of focus on it. Like, look at the little people in the scene. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, I picked this up so quick. And yes, I do have the belt to go with it. So I'm super excited to see what I can do with this but as i said before like i have sold kimonos before like 100 percent silk kimonos but now that i'm really looking at this this even looks hand embroidered look at the little person this is amazing this is amazing look at that skill y'all i'm excited i can't wait to see because that that almost looks like an artifact like something that belongs in a museum oh and i didn't show y'all the other side of that tag but goodwill had it priced let me show y'all goodwill had it priced at 98 dollars. or if this isn't 98 no yeah it says price it says price at the bottom there because i was going to say either that or it was number 98 in an auction so anyways moving on the next thing that i got was actually a set been a long time since I find the top and the bottom at the bend, so yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is actually from Airy, and this was kind of a whim decision for me because I picked up the top first in a whole different bin, and then I found it later on in another bin. Now, I pick up Airy, y'all know from time to time, um, but rarely like clothing by Airy, but for some reason, I just picked it up and was like, you know what, I'm gonna see what this is gonna do. This is it's a, a ribbed, like, cropped sweater or maybe not so cropped i don't know sweater uh like i said by airy and you know very nice loungewear you know people tend to like airy's loungewear but here are the pants and um yeah i was super excited when i seen it sticking out of the clothes and the bins i was like oh i didn't even know it, it like when i picked it up i didn't even know it came with pants so i'm excited to put these together um and go ahead and sell them together i believe they're the same size let me make sure y'all because if they're not i cannot sell them together you know I've, yeah they are the same size i had to learn my lesson on that one sometimes it just takes a longer time to get them sold if they're different sizes so i just do them separate this was actually super exciting like definitely excited i don't think it'll be a ton of money it's just something about finding items that belong together in the bins because that could be like super frustrating sometimes so this next item is also a vintage item and i'm actually i looked up this i looked up this uh item in the bins and i actually saw it i believe don't don't give me the line but i believe above 50 dollars. this is before i show y'all let me read it ken rosewall by revere and it's actually for tennis players and it has this classic like prep school tennis vibe so i went ahead like that's what that was the reason why i looked it up because i was like yeah that looked like something and actually what what is it made out of let me see y'all oh actually it's acrylic but it did have a good comp so anyways i'm gonna see what it does y'all know how i like my little vintage pieces and whatnot so yeah these next two pieces are actually for men and a new brand to me I'm, i was toying in my head with maybe selling them as a set like or as a lot but we shall see um and it is these really really cool looking uh shirts button front shirts so kind of dressy definitely for a night out you know for the guys that like to dress it up and whatnot and they're by drill clothing not a super huge brand but they do tend to have these types of patterns on their clothes i did see it out there and i believe that uh they were listed for 25 <laughs> so that means you know maybe 20 dollar comps and whatnot but either way i just didn't want to pass it up i just love uh the way that looks and y'all already know 
Victorian Gothic vibes. Definitely something I love to pick up. Of course, anybody could wear them, but I believe that these are men's. The next item is, oh, so cute, y'all. So, so cute. Um, it is this fringe jacket, well, fringe jean jacket by, let me see if I can say this right, Lelise. At first, I didn't know if this was a brand I should be looking at. I've seen it a few times, but uh, normally, I guess I just wasn't interested in the piece. But this one definitely caught my eye. I love a fringe moment. Okay, y'all, I love this. Um, and when I looked it up, it did have good comps for this particular jacket. So um, I'm excited to see how this will do. And then I will actually be looking into this brand a little bit more to see if I should add it to my bread and butters because I was looking around and I was like, huh, this one might be a new one for me. Our next one is actually something we've sold before, but this brand can be up and down. Um, and it is a skirt by Peter Nygaard. So let's see if we get the lighting on that. It actually has some really, really nice layers and cuts. So that was my main reason for getting it because it is kind of plain. But I've also done pretty good with Peter Nygaard. But I will say that you have to be pretty selective, okay? Because some of the stuff does well, like better than others, like way better than others, okay? This next item is actually the first thing that I got when I walked in there. And I was super excited. I just knew it was a omen that this was going to be a good bin strip. And so far, like, what do y'all think? I definitely feel like it has been like a good haul so far. And we literally have this item that I'm about to show y'all and one more item and I'm going to let y'all go. All right, y'all. So this next item is new at tags and by anthropology y'all <laughs> so i was really excited to let this be the first item that i picked up now to be completely honest with y'all this brand though english factory i have like one other thing in my shop that's by english factory if i'm not mistaken and it has been sitting and sitting y'all uh and i've lowered the price and lowered the price of course it is not new with tags uh so when i saw that I, it was a little bittersweet but i was like you know what it's still worth it because it may be just that my my other item is older so um the regular price for this one is <clears throat> let's see if i can show y'all let me see 120 dollars in the u.s and yeah like i think it will do good because it may be the newer you know but definitely a winter time out uh, or fall time Item. all right and this last item is something that i've been looking for to for a while <laughs> and i had to go like in my mind like is this the right one you know because i think there's a few uh brands that sound alike but this one is a wild fox y'all so last time we found white fox remember this one is a wild fox and i have been looking for this brand as well and I may or may not have seen it before. I don't know. But like, I want to say like, you know how you see a brand and then um, somebody gets to talking about it and you'd be like, dang it, I think I've seen that before. But then you go back and you start looking and you just almost feel like you never see it again. I think this might've been one of those things where I've seen a few, but I wasn't aware at the time. This is actually a dress or a tunic, y'all, built like a, like a hoodie, okay? This is super stinking cute. And the comps that I saw on uh, online for just the brand alone, because I did not look for the actual piece, I was actually, you know, kind of impressed. I'm like, okay, girl, I'm going to have to really, really be looking out for these. So, as I said, that was our last item. And y'all tell me what y'all thought about the haul. What was y'all's favorite item? Yeah, what y'all thought about that Thor shirt, girl? Uh, I'm going to do some more research on that one and see, you know, exactly what she'll do. But thank y'all for watching the haul again. And I appreciate you all for making it this far. Definitely hit that like and subscribe and come back for more. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.